Hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise. My channel is a haul every Saturday at five o'clock and some things midweek. Um, I'm getting quite good at this at the moment. I'm picking up the pace a little bit, getting a few more things out during the week. If you enjoyed today's video and you would like to see more, maybe see my hauls, don't forget to subscribe down below. Uh, give me a like, a comment. I always enjoy your comments. Um, so today I'm going to do like a sort of meal prep, meal prep type thing. I don't. I work very early, and um, so I don't eat before I go to work. And when I, by the time I get back, I'm like over hungry. I also have fibro, so I'm usually in an awful lot of pain. So it's just get in, get something quick, and it's usually rubbish food. An awful lot of bread products. Yeah, there's going to be sort of bread product here, but it's going to have better things in it than I would normally pick. So I'm going to make like some burritos i'm actually going to have one for my dinner tonight i've got five wraps in the packet so i'm going to make four of them and then the rest are going to go in the freezer so like i said this i've made this later in the week but it's still later than the week than i wanted to but it's still better to have some than not have some so then i can start adding more meal prep type things i have been thinking quite hard about what i wanted to do and i did want to do some salads but i honestly just could not figure out how i can pre-prep a salad but not have all the soggy bits so um and without actually going out and buying any extra like uh packages or anything because I, I have seen a lot of the what do they call them my mind's gone blank it will come to me after I've already finished the conversation. Uh, the mason jars. I always get it in the end. Um, mason jars uh, work out well because you put the soggier bits towards the bottom and work up with the dry bits. But I would have to buy them and I really don't want to spend out for it yet unless I realise that this is something that I can keep up. Because I do try these sort of things quite regular and then they don't really, you know, I don't keep them going long term. I'm not I can't think of the word. I'm sure you know what I mean. Anyway, so if you are new here, yeah, I talk a lot. So I sort of got an idea of the type of ingredients we're gonna put in. I'm gonna just like cook all the bits that need cooking. You know, like beans from the tin don't need cooking because when we take it out of the freezer, we're gonna heat it up. I'm also going to toast tonight's one. So I will not toast the rest so then when it comes out, it'll be freshly toasted. So it will taste best, better. I think that's the way it's gonna work anyway. You know, it's a trial and error thing. It might come out rubbish, but at least I'm giving it a go. So let me show you what ingredients we got and then we'll sort of um, combine it all and see what happens. <laughs> so this is the ingredients. Like I'm, I'm, I'm going to prepare most of it. But this one I did have to do beforehand. Right, so this is tofu. Never tried tofu before. So is all I've done at the moment is I emptied the water out the packet and then I got, got some uh, kitchen towels, um, put it on the bottom and on the top and then I put a uh, chopping board on the bottom and on the top and then I just stacked a load of cans on top and I left it like to squish down and get as much water out as possible and then all I've done in this is I guessed um, around three-ish tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and then I've Put a, I dumped a load of this in. Now I know where, where spices are concerned. I'm a bit of a wuss and I always back off and then I end up with quite bland food. So I dumped like a pile of it. More that what I was going with was putting what I thought would be about right and then double it. So that's what I did. Made a paste, dumped all of it, uh, like cut all the tofu up, dumped it in, and this has been marinating for, for a few hours. So I'm going to fry this as it is because it's got the olive oil. I'm thinking I don't need to add any more oil. I mean, I do want it to be crispy on the outside. I've never tried tofu, tofu before. That's why I'm going to get that going now because if it's a fail, if it's, I'm very texture orientated. Like something could taste good, but if the texture's wrong, I'm not going to eat it. So um, we're going to go with putting this on now so I can try it. If it's a fail, I do have some uh, fake meat chicken breasts. And if you are new here, no, I'm not a veggie. But I just don't really enjoy meat at the moment. I'm not after the texture, so I'm just going with what I enjoy. Uh, so we're going to put this on now. I've got a frying pan just over there. I'm just going to dump that in and put it on like I'm going to put it on like a medium heat. Dump that in and let it go. Now the I have googled it like like I said I've not tried it before and it says not to mess around with it too much because you want it to char so no continuously moving it around so I'm going to leave it for a little while before I move any of it that's the idea with that 
Then we got some good old fashioned microwave rice. This is actually a Mexican one. I was gonna go plain because I've put the seasonings in already, but it turns out I don't actually have just a plain one. Got some black beans. Uh, these are the wraps that I've got. Now they're, they're slightly different to the normal wraps. These are Lebanese. I just like the texture of them. They've got a little bit more substance to them. They're 90p and they are actually slightly, sorry, that's the hole in me. I keep doing the price thing. I need to stop doing that. Um, they're less calories than a normal one, but the texture is way, way better. This like more substantial. We have some peppers. I'm just going to grab two of them and cut them up into slices because even if I have too many of anything it's not a biggie because i'll make i'll make something out of it some onions probably gonna go for it with one large one i did have a big packet of spinach but it turns out most of it was rubbish so i took out all the spinach that was good so i'm probably not going to get it in all the wraps but that's fine i'm going to cut up some tomatoes as well because it's not got a lot of moisture and i can't think of a sauce to put with it but that's not a big deal because I can always make some sauce and put it by the side and dip it in. So it's not a biggie deal. And then I'm going to just put some, this is just a slabby, a normal cheddar, mature cheddar cheese. I'm probably going to grate some cheese in a couple of them, not all of them. So then I can like suss out what works well for me and what doesn't. So that's our ingredients. Let me go and get this on the hob because I need to move it out of the way. And we'll start preparing the rest. So the rice is cooked. We've got the wraps. I've cut tomatoes up, spinach. I've drained the beans, onions and peppers, and the tofu, which I ended up putting in the active fry because I couldn't get it all uniformly cooked. Now I have tried it. Won't bite again. Don't like the texture an awful lot, but it's not bad enough that I'm thinking we'll mix with all the other textures that it will be okay for this meal. So I'm not going to waste it because it's like £1.50, so I'm not going to waste it. So I have to say, I'm not very good at wrapping wraps, so or filling them in any of it basically. Um, so yeah, this will be interesting. So I'm going to put some spinach in first. I'll just show you the first one because they're all going to be pretty much the same, just in different quantities probably. Put some rice in this. And I, I did cook the rice just because it's a solid lump otherwise. That's the only reason that I cooked the rice because it doesn't really need it. Because it's already cooked, basically. Um, I don't even know how I'm doing this. I'm just making up as I go along. Put some of the tofu in. Oh, sorry. I was watching the camera to make sure you can see. <laughs> So I have been watching this man that I don't know if you've seen him. I think he's on Facebook and he wraps things like he wraps everything. He'll, he'll like, like buy a Chinese and he'll put it in a wrap or he'll do a McDonald's like he did. What, what did he do? He did a uh, fish, uh, fish fillet. Is it fish fillet? Um, and he put two in it, full burgers and he put chips in it and then the the, uh, the sauce that comes with the chick-fil-a or whatever it is i think it's like a tartar or something um and then he wraps it and then he puts them in his garmin um and uh yeah he wraps them like these massive big burritos and he just does it so well so i've been watching him and i think where i normally go wrong is i, I bend this over too soon so he always goes to the very end of the food which i've never done before 
and pulls it in which actually works really really well oh my god now i didn't i did i didn't heat the wraps so if you heat the wraps <laughs> you don't uh, break like that it's torn because of that so what i'm going to do is actually shove this in the microwave for like 20 seconds or something and see if it makes a difference it might just be the type of wrap because i could see i have seen these done like pitters as well maybe i just picked the wrong wraps anyway i'm going to do it because i've started now i'm going to wrap the rest and then i'll show you the difference and if it come out well or not i mean you know if you you've been on my channel long enough you don't seriously expect any better than that do you um this is gonna this is my practice one we'll say that there that's my practice one um gonna do this and we'll be back in a minute right i'm back now i did heat them this one's come out worse it's splitting so clearly these are not the wraps to do for this <laughs> so mission is aborted <laughs> okay i'm not always i mean you know i do say that i always in the end get something but um we're gonna have something just not what i was planning on doing so i'm just gonna do like a burrito bowl type thing i've got the, the ingredients all this stuff is going to last like three four days in the fridge no sweat i'm going to container it all up and then i'll just do like a salad type burrito bowl <laughs> style thing <laughs> this is so bad oh well you know that's life these things happen yeah it happens it's life um sometimes you have this idea in your head clearly it was just the wrong wraps i will get the right wraps on shopping day <laughs> and i will try this whole thing again i've still got better food than i would normally have i'm literally just gonna get i've got a load of those um chinese you know the old chinese boxes when you get a chinese meal i have all that type plastic thing so i'm gonna box all these up eat my broken up type burrito and um just use the the wraps is like a dip for it you know where you, you can sort of scoop it up that's the way i'm gonna go with it <laughs> so it's not a total loss all the food is actually good um you know it's all the stuff you would just you just have anyway but it's prepared so it's a start it's prepared it's just not the way it was gonna do it oh well so this will be titled fail at the end of it and now you know why I have nothing else, I actually don't have anything else to say to that. I'm at a loss for words. So I'm actually going to go now. I hope you enjoyed it, you know, even if you just laughed at the mess. I'm okay with that. I really am. Um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're going to get some sun because it is so hot. I think it's like, I think when I looked a minute ago, the temperature things up there was like 28 point something so um yeah really warm today it's gonna be a scorcher tomorrow so make sure you put your sun cream on plenty of water make sure you take care of yourselves because it's surprising how quickly things can turn bad with the heat so make sure you're well prepared and i will see you all fit and well on saturday for our haul bye <laughs>